So today we're out in sunny Brentwood, Essex to interview the female IBF bantamweight champion, Ebony Bridges. Let's see what the Blonde Bomber's got to say. Been hanging out with Conor McGregor recently, yes. I see. Uh, looked like he was kind of manhandling you yeah. a little bit. But uh, what's, what was he like in person? Oh, he's lovely. You know, me yeah. and Conor have been talking for a while. You know, he's always supported my career. Um, you know, I've talked to him online, you know. Um, he sends me messages for my fights. And, okay. And um, he, you know, invited me to Ireland a few times, like to see his bar and just like, cause he's, you know, he's really supportive of boxing and you know, you see that and just like other, other, other fighters and it's just nice to have that like friendship. And um, that was obviously the first time I'd seen him and um, in person. So being able to, you know, catch up and see him in person and have a talk to him in person was just great after the, you know, conversations that we've had online and stuff. So yeah, no, it was really good. And he's, he's awesome. He's so evanescent as well. And yeah. he has that energy like, you know, like superstars, like they have that energy. It's like, you know, I feel like I'm, I, you know, so I'm like that. You walk in a room. I'm feeling and, it. No, you walk in a room and, and it lights up, you mm, know, and when Connor walks in, it light, he lights it up, you know, and um, it's great energy to have around and it's very it's inspiring. Yeah. Very, very charismatic guy, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, no very doubt. Charismatic, yeah. No doubt. Do you think we'll see him back in the boxing ring anytime soon? Oh, like a, a rematch think... against Floyd Mayweather, maybe or something? No, I don't, I don't think so. Like no. he's doing a lot of stuff, you know, I know he's doing a lot of like film and a lot of, you yeah. know, he's doing that stuff with um, the, uh, not cont contender or what is that fight? There's a fight. Oh, Ultimate Fighter. That's it. That's yeah, it, Ultimate that's Fighter. It, so it, yeah. you know he's doing his thing and like you know I, I don't know. I don't think he has anything to prove anymore. No. Um, did you give him any ideas about getting into OnlyFans himself? Did you drop that <laughs> no, into? Him? No. No, but he might have some ideas of doing it. But yeah, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Get him, get him no, on the sign up bonus. A collab, a bit of a, no, that no, would be I, a big um, one, yeah. No, um, I didn't actually, but um, if you, if you I think a lot again. of people. I think a lot of people see. Um, I think I give a lot of people the ideas of getting to OnlyFans. You know, and I think it's fine, especially for women. Like, you know, people cut us down and they look at it like doing OnlyFans is such a bad thing. Um, but it's not. It's ex and it's just exclusive content, you know. And you choose what you want to put up there. Mm -hmm. The athletes and the and the celebrities that are doing it. It's not like it doesn't have to be you know sex work or porn, and it's not like that. Um, you know, sure, there's that as well, but the whole, the whole thing behind it is like, you know, that it's it's not just about that. It's just about exclusive content. You know, I don't blog. I'm not a blogger mm -hmm. on my Instagram. I'm like, hey, this is what I'm doing. Hey, this is but yeah. on my OnlyFans, I do. So everyone knows what I'm doing. I'm blogging all day. Like you get to see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, at home or where I'm out or behind the scenes. So that's kind of where it's a little bit more. And people, they want to know what's going on behind the scenes. That's why they watch reality TV. Yeah. So it's the same kind of thing. You same, know? similar concept. Yeah. And you're in total control. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure, I like to be sexy as well, but not everyone's like that, you know? Mm -hmm. And some of the girls, they don't have to be like that. Or, you know, if they want to be great, embrace your femininity, embrace be being sexy. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? I don't mm. know the prop. Like, if we want to do it, we do it. Like, keep yourself and we'll keep over here. And like Kel Brook, um, like El Brooks said, you know, um, um, what, what did she say? They can cry in a Ferrari. Yeah, my kids, my kids can cry in a yeah, Ferrari. Yeah, kids can cry, cry in yeah, a Ferrari. Yeah, that was a great true. quote. You know, like it uh, does, it's, it's a good, um, it's obviously good income. you got to, you know, work for it. You're, I'm always online. You're always going to be working. It's been good while I've been in, I had my injury because I've not been training. So it's been exactly, great to yeah. keep in touch with all my fans. And but, um, yeah, no, it's good. What's the most you've ever earned in a month on OnlyFans? Do you want to give up that information? You don't have to if you don't want to, obviously. No, I don't want to, but no? it's, it's a lot. You wouldn't, yeah. you, you wouldn't be able to imagine it. Yeah, because you got a decent signing on for you, right? For just yeah, signing yeah, up. signing on was, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they sponsored me, you know, and like to sponsor quite a few athletes. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, they, um, they're, they're great. You know, they have, they're supporting us as well. And um, yeah, it's good, it's good. So um, let's just say that Things are going well. Yeah, things are going well. Things are going well. Don't really need to box, but I, no. I like to box. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. 